it's Morsky. It's your boy. Um, so yeah, I'm uh, I'm level 60 now, and um, let's let's do this. I'm just finishing uh, Raven Dreth, so I'm sorry, but I did not stream that with uh, with you guys. Um, but you get to catch the end. I've just done a quick uh, introduction tour gas run. That was pretty erotic. Um, I enjoyed it, and um, yeah, let's let's see what the end game has to offer, shall we? Because um, as I said in my last video, I'm going into this expansion completely blind. I've got no idea what end game means. I don't know if there's world quests. I don't know what systems there are. I I can guess that Torghast is going to be like a repeatable weekly thing or something to. Um, I don't know, maybe like Mythic Plus, like you get a high level and get gear and stuff, but we'll see. So anyway, I need to align some mirrors right now, that's that's where I'm at. Um, so yeah, let's let's do that, shall we? Um, I'm just going to quickly check uh, Moobot because he's just disappeared again, and um, frankly I'm getting a bit fed up with Moobot just being a bit inappropriate and not not moderating my channel for me you know what happens if someone comes here near starts blasting racist slurs I'm gonna be in trouble so Moobot where are you where are you Moobot can you get in here please that'd be nice that'd be nice mate okay so let's do this let's stop mucking around we've we've mucked around for too long oh yeah, there we go. What's this? I don't even know where I'm going. Am I meant to go in here? Yeah, I think I am. I've got to align some mirrors. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the spiciest meme lord of them all? Why? It's Ainsley Harrier, everyone. Look at him. Look at him down here. Just having a cheeky gander. Um. So, yeah. Oh, hey, there we go. Lurks, welcome to the channel, and Moobot, welcome back, Mr. Moderator Bot. Um, so yeah, I don't really want to fight him. I've had enough of fighting. I just want to make peace now. Um, so what do I do here? Oh, our potential savior of the shadow land. Uh, uh, have I missed something here? Midnight Rose, mirrors aligned. Where are all these mirrors? Ah, here they are. They're these big things. Okay. So that's mirror one. Ali -oop. Oop. Oh, look at we go. Whoa, whoa. Oh. I didn't know you could go through it. I expected to land on it. Oh, look at that cheeky chap just doing that. Um, Any other mirrors? What? Didn't I just... Oh, how did I? Am I blind? I'm blind, not deaf. Um, okay, where are all these other <coughs> mirrors? There's one over there, that must be it. Uh, yep. Chugga, 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 chugga. Woo, woo. Okay. So, yeah, apparently the story with Ravendreth is these guys are like cheeky vampires and they don't particularly like light so these mirrors are probably gonna do something a bit naughty a bit cheeky so yeah let's uh, let's see I don't want to fight him so he can just run past me but um, what do I think of this zone well I quite like this zone it's I don't know. I didn't find it as impressive as the other zones. Like, it feels kind of... I don't know. It, it's okay. It's an okay looking zone. Nothing nothing special to write home about sort of thing. But what I did like is um, some of some of the uh, NPCs. Like, these little kind of... I don't know what you'd call them. They're kind of like goblin, gargoyle, weird monstrosity things. Um... They have uh, thick Cockney accents, and they sound like um, some of my immediate family. So, um, yeah, that's uh, I've got a, a fair bit of family from London, and um, 
Yeah, it, re- it reminded me of, you know, going going down to London, or up to London, I should say, from uh, Cambridge, or, no, down, down to London. What am I on about? Um, and, yeah, just, uh, just hanging with the diamond geezers. Oh. They are not looking good. So, yeah, um... Okay. Thank you. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Okay, do I need any of this stuff? Yeah, I do. Ah, these little geezers, the, the servants. I don't know what they're meant to be exactly, but they've a lot of them have uh, London accents, which is quite nice. Um, so in terms of the zones, I still like. Um, gosh, I can't even remember the names half the time. I'm a right plonkosaurus, and these people are talking too loud for my liking. Oop. Um. I like the night phase zone. Oh, I'm just going to say it like that. I like the night phase zone. Bastion was quite nice because it was nice and bright and happy and like just, yeah, nice, nice colours and stuff. Then probably Maldraxxus and then this zone. As for the Covenant, like the actual like NPCs and stuff, um, I quite like. Again, the Night Fae. I, I like their lore and the story and stuff. Then these guys, the vampires, they have quite a unique kind of... Um, like, lots of unique characters and story and, like... I don't know, it seems like their lore would be quite interesting and uh, the antagonist seems like a badass as well. So, uh, yeah, that's cool. Um, then... Maldraxxus, I really like them, and especially like that uh, Lady Vash was there and uh, Draka, that was cool to see them, sort of thing. Um, plus, they were all like Chad units in that uh, Covenant, like everyone was like, you know, like lifting and uh, all this sort of stuff, so yeah, it's uh, good, good banter in that zone. And then I guess Bastion, like, you know, it was kind of. Uh, I don't know. It, it just wasn't wasn't my style, you know. It was kind of it was it was good, but for me, I'm just not into this whole like angelic kind of you know heavenly thing. It's the same in Diablo. Like I was always more in favour of like uh, the demons and stuff and the dark, and I never really you know Tyrael was a badass back in Diablo 2 when he was an angel. Um, but I don't know. I, I just always preferred like the uh, the demons, like you know, Mephisto, Durial, and uh, and Ariel, and all these geezers. But um, like, yeah, I don't know. I think they should have made um, the angels like a bit more badass kind of thing. Like, you know, there were some like I don't know unpure angels I guess or whatever they're meant to be but like I'm talking about like you know have an Imperius up there like he's an absolute unit he's just he doesn't take anything from no one he's like he's he's a, a bad boy um so yeah but you know that's uh, that's my views at the moment they could change because you know everything is subject to change and uh, that includes my views. You know, maybe I'll get sick of these Night Fae fairy people and just want to, you know, I don't know, get rid of them kind of thing. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens, yeah? It's all exciting times at the moment. Everything's fresh, like a, a fresh meme. Like, imagine just going into your kitchen right now and baking up a batch of freshly baked memes. I think that would be delicious frankly and um, if you think otherwise well I want to know why why don't you approve of freshly baked memes you know people around these parts they know me as the meme baker 
So I'm the one who has to put in the work and bake these memes for everyone. But if people don't appreciate the memes, then sometimes I just ask myself, what am I even baking these memes for? Also, what is up with this? This bar keeps going down very fast, like before I can fill it up. Am I meant to be, or am I, yeah, it's going up and then it's going down. Like, oh, I see. It goes down when I renew these dudes. Okay. I see. I see what's happening. I was like, how am I meant to fill up this bar if it keeps going down? But it is me. I am the wars. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's have a cheeky gander, shall we? Oh, look at this. I'm still absolutely in love with uh, Starfall. I just, I don't think I will ever get bored of that ability. Like it, it's just so satisfying to like watch and to, I don't know, it's, it, Tickles my jimmies a bit, you know. Oh. Um, okay, there we go. Now what are we doing? Hello. I don't want to fight. But yeah, I think after this, like I'm on the last uh, chapter, I think now, like six of seven. So once we've done this, then I'm pretty sure it will ask us to choose our covenant. And uh, yeah, spoilers, we're going to be a fairy, boys. A fairy boy. Ooh, demon hunters from the sky or something, whatever they were. Looked like they had war gloves. Defeat General Kale. Oh, oh, it's one of them. They look like those um, birds that, you know, like the the pure Sketis, like before they turned into the, like not not these things. Hang on. Oh no, that's Gammon. Sorry. Um, where is it? I've got it. Ah, oh, this. Like you know, beef. <laughs> um, I need to probably pay attention here because they're doing weird abilities. Um. Before they became like these little fat birds, they were like the the skinny tall birds with the like the wing and uh, like wing arms kind of thing. So that's what they remind me of a bit. But um, yeah, you know, just a, a shower thought right there. Okay, let's uh, round these bad boys up and uh, go to town on them. Oh, I need to... There we go, that's better. I've got like an army of gargoyles here helping me. I'm, I'm liking this. This makes things nice. It makes things really nice. Wow, what a drink. Why does my musical instrument keep disappearing? I can't even use them. Am I in the wrong zone for it? Oh, because I'm in like a scenario, I think. I don't actually think I'm considered as out in the world at the moment. So, that's a problem. So, this is cool. Like, you know, having a million gargoyles just help you as soon as you pull something. That's feels good, man. Feels good. Here they come. Love it. Oh, also, there's like a talking sword as well, which is uh, interesting. Okay, I'm going to let the gargoyles handle them because, frankly, I've had enough of their shenanigans. Oh, shenanigans. Oh, I've got to do this one as well, I guess. But um, yeah, with uh, tour gas, that seems quite quite fun to be honest. It reminds me of like if you've ever played um, the mobile game uh, AFK Arena. I played it for a bit and then got bored when it basically turned into a like basically the game just kind of stops and then um, like if you want to carry on, you have to either wait a few days until you. 
amass enough gold or you have to like delete loads of heroes like disenchant them to get other stuff anyway um there's a system in that very similar to torgas where you basically progress up a path and then every now and then you've got multiple choices you can either like you know increase your crit and have like health steal and stuff like that so torgas is literally just like that implemented into wow so it's not a bad thing because it's quite a quite a fun system sometimes because some some runs you can just have like a um a really cool like overpowered run where you just absolutely annihilate everyone like you've got so much leech and stuff that you you just you can't take damage because you build your health up so fast um but i don't know how overpowered you can become in uh wow's version because you know in uh it it depends how crazy they've gone with it probably there's a, a cap on it at the beginning as well because they don't want people to like go too mental or whatever but um yeah we'll see we'll see either way it's um it's got potential that's what i'm saying uh and good probably replayability as well like um i guess they can it would be easy to implement like new mobs and new mechanics and everything like that into it so yeah, it be, it's a, seems like a good system for once. Like, not for once. That's harsh, but you know, as Blizzard of late, uh, Blizzard of late with their um, implemented systems haven't always been the best. Oh, cinematic. Let's have a look. Hmm. Uh oh. Go on, stab it through the heart. Ooh. And so he did, but he literally looked like he sliced it in half. Hello, hello. So basically the prince is going to get one-shotted here or something? Let's have a look. Oh, okay. So he's got like magic swords as well. Oof, he's getting uh, oofed. It's not looking good for him. This was your valiant last stand. Cool. Look at the size of that hand. An absolute Chad unit. Also, he's got like an eight pack going on. Was that an eight pack? Let's count. Let's count next time we see it. One, two. Oh no, it could be. No, there's definitely one more under there. He's just hiding it under that belt. So yeah, he's got an eight pack, definitely. That, or he's got a really big belly, and he's just managed to build his upper upper belly into a three uh, six pack. Sorry. Why hasn't he got vampire teeth, but the other one has? Like, it seems all the NPCs have vampire teeth, but this main Demetrius or whatever is called, he's just got like normal looking teeth. Maybe it's like true blood, where they can trigger their fangs if they need to. Show us your fangs. Hey, Mona. Remember, Simba. Oh, so he spared his life, which was a mistake, obviously, because I I can almost let's let's predict something here. So um, as of today, we are predicting that the maybe not last boss. Okay, when when Demetrius dies, 
that prince will be there with us he'll be like standing in the background or he'll be he'll be inside the raid somewhere helping us in some way and um yeah that will be the like you know super villain mistake leaving leaving the the dude alive oh there we go new item sorted so yeah we'll see that looks cool now kind of want to jump in it Maybe I will. We must rally the harvesters at Sinsfor while this mortal returns to Oribus. They must be told what transpired here. I shall escort the Maw Walker, my prince. Come, mortal. Okay. Let's go. I'm ready. <laughs> Look at it. Just carrying a big old fat bird. He's got some good arm strength, that gargoyle, to be honest. Especially to hold me like that. Like, that's literally like holding a dumbbell by like one end and just holding it outwards sort of thing. That's, uh, that's good stuff. Okay, where am I being taken to? Fly to Draven, to the Flight Master. Fly with Draven, sorry. Um, oh. So... Like I've still not finished all the quests in the zones. I've I just because I hit sixty I wanted to finish the main quest line which is uh the one shaped like this, like the shield. So because um, then I can like choose my covenant and get that extra ability as well and stuff because um I'm not a fan of the um that's what we can talk about. We can actually uh talk about which abilities I like the most from each zone. Um I actually really like the the first night fay ability where you just go absolutely s like you go mental with like the haste and just like start spamming abilities like a freaking I don't know I don't know what but just it it feels good it feels like kind of like Diablo 2 mate oh yeah there was um a spell or uh, ability in Diablo 2 which was called strafe for the Amazon I think it was strafe and you clicked it and then the Amazon like it just automatically fired at, like all enemies around like really fast like just turning like, doing a 360 shooting like arrows everywhere it sort of feels like that and uh, so I really like that skill that's uh, a well designed one um, other ones um, you know the others felt kind of basic like the dot was kind of okay because you know it, it's just it's a simple and easy ability to use it's just an extra dot that you need to put on people but um it wasn't impressive kind of thing like so mm. um least favorite abilities like uh this teleport like you know it, it will obviously be helpful for some classes especially in like pvp that will be a pain in the ass to come up against but um yeah, I I don't know. I'm not a fan of the Raven Dreath abilities, and this thing is like um, increase your damage and healing by two percent, haste by one percent, stacking and stuff. So, you know, it's it's a decent ability, but it's just I I don't find it fun to use kind of thing. Um, the other Night Fae ability where you turn into a fox that would be good for like almost every other class, but because I'm a druid, I kind of don't really need that like you know I can morph into a cat and like sprint away I've got my engineering stuff as well so how do I get back up here I don't want to fight them um so yeah I don't know you know what would be really good which though well, they could do it in the future maybe is like to mix and match um so like you could you could go uh one covenant like you like a sub spec kind of thing like uh, I think what was that game called Rift uh, it was like an MMO where you choose a main spec and then you could um, specialize in a second one as well uh, your main spec would be like the main source of your damage and then the sub spec would be like lesser skills kind of thing uh, and it would be cool if they kind of did that with covenants maybe like you know you align yourself to one covenant like and show your loyalty but at the same time maybe you've got like a a cheeky contact in uh Ravendreth for example who 
who you know you're like hey if I slip you some anima could you let me use one of your abilities kind of thing like something like that um, that would be cool because it kind of eliminates the the problem of switching covenants because you could basically you know you wouldn't feel like you'd have to switch covenants you could just sort of go to a covenant and be like hey you're going to be my like second covenant because I want this ability kind of thing and uh, you know but you know you'd still be you'd still be aligned prime primarily to the uh, your main covenant sort of thing and you'd still have like all their unlocks the only thing you'd get from a secondary covenant would be like the secondary ability kind of thing um, I think that would be a really good idea to be honest uh, if you're watching let me know what you think because I've heard a lot of different like um, uh, like views on covenants like in the past where people have been saying you know um, that they they'd like to be able to switch covenants and stuff um, uh, like I don't think you can as far as I know like that was the initial kind of feedback that people were saying like you know that they can't switch covenants so probably they kept it that way um, but yeah because let's face it like the only people like the majority of people who are going to want to switch covenants are uh, PVPers and mid maxes like hardcore raiders kind of thing like you know um, and the rest of us we kind of probably I mean I, I personally don't care like if I wanted another covenant I'd just re-roll something and you know I I plan to have like a character in each covenant kind of thing and unlock all their like transmog and whatnot but um, yeah I um, I don't know to be honest also what am I doing I want to ah okay I can go back to all so I'll come back here in a bit I just want to go get my um, covenant sorted and all that but um, yeah hey commander root welcome to the channel we were just um, oh well I was just talking uh, about covenants and um, we're gonna choose our covenant right now hopefully I think uh, we're gonna become a fairy boy and um, yeah I was talking about like because as far as I know you can't switch your covenants or you can but there's like a big cooldown or something or you know something like that and I was thinking it would be kind of cool if you could align yourself with one covenant but you could have like a secondary kind of backup covenant that you're not fully aligned to but you have like a contact on the inside like um, a cheeky like dealer kind of thing who's like you know undercover and you'll you just offer him some anima or some gold or something and then you'd be like hey I'm gonna give you this if you can let me use your covenant ability my, as a secondary one so you you kind of you can mix and match your abilities between different covenants um, they probably have to balance them so you couldn't have like two really overpowered abilities kind of thing but at the same time you know um, I think that could be a fairly decent idea maybe like um, I mean for me it's not a problem I'm, I'm just yeah, I'll be happy with any covenant and you know I'll I'll use the ability even the fox one to be honest even though I've kind of already um, said that I won't really be using that much uh, where do I go trading favors I still don't know this layout of this place at all to be honest I am all over the place um, it doesn't look like I'm meant to be down here it's on this floor yeah it's on this floor okay so it's over here somewhere no it says it's down again is there a way you can get down I, I thought that thing takes you up am I am I being a poppadom here am I just not am I not with it like to be fair actually I lie the fox ability would be quite cool in this place if you can use it here because how the bugger do I get down maybe here maybe this this looks quite interesting um do I talk to one of these oh what is the purpose no that's not it. um but yeah you, you know kind of what I'm saying it's um the fox ability would be good in this place because at the moment it's like you know you can't use travel form unless you're in this main ring here like the the center 
Um, but to get around the other places, it would be good. Right, I think I'm on the wrong level. Speak to Talinara in... Oh, wait. Look, the, the question mark is over here, here, but here it's here. So I think it's the mini-map uh, showing an inter incorrect quest location there, unless it's showing that. Ah, here we go. Okay. So, let's let's begin. Where do I pick? Roger that. Let's go. Bring the Covenant representatives to the Enclave. After the mortal and I have finished, we will convene with you there. With her voice have I spoken. Blessed be her voice. As the Arbiter's voice, I heed the call of the Eternal Ones. How may I serve? The law grows, surging with power. How did this come to pass? The evil we believed forever. There she is, that's my queen. The Primus realized the truth, but his warning came too late. I fear he paid a grave price for his march. Well, Prince isn't looking too good. Where is your sire? Where is our brother Denafrius? No. Oh. She's got nice, nice thick thighs, hasn't she? It's a strong, independent woman right there. There is yet hope. This mortal saved me from the maw and Look at the state of me. <laughs> it's like worse than TBC armor. Oh, she could squish watermelons between those thighs. We will stand together against the darkness. I will see it done, Eternal Ones. With her voice have I spoken. Come, mortal. The hour of decision is at hand. It is indeed. Are you ready to become a fairy? Let's do it. I'm kind of scared because I've got auto quest turning on. I swear to God, if this automatically chooses something for me, I am going to rage. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, don't do it. You know, I could be sent... Oh, it's okay, I get to choose. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Just Oh, I just want to have a look at them. They look so cool. Like, look at that. They have the coolest looking armor. And it kind of goes nicely with... Um, the whole uh, Colterath like druid forms like these like spike things look good he's oh wait I'm confused oh that's Revendreth okay what was that comes with a free target dummy that one oh, this one does as well they all do 
Interesting. Oh, I see. So it's probably you can test the abilities out. Remind me of the Night Fane. No. Can I please test? No. Could you please reset the cooldown a bit? No. What adventures await? Maybe that? How do I choose? Just remind me. Ah, oh, here we go. Show mount. Oh, it comes with a mount. That's uh, that's a pretty shite mount. Uh, Transmog is quite okay. I think I've got a tabard that could work with that. Like I've got a nice grey one, or maybe even the blue one would work. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm feeling this. Let's do it. Take me. No. How do I choose? Like, do I just walk in? No. Can you, like, just let me... Come on. Yeah, there we go. Let me in. <sighs> Come on. Whoa, what's that? What is this? What adventures? There we go. Am I being a... Did I just choose it? Come on! Like, how do I do it? Do I... Oh, I have to speak to each one? Yeah, I do. Okay. Uh, I see. Oh, hang on. Let's, let's just have a look. Show mount. Ah, oh, that's pretty cool, I guess. They did have that cool owl. I, I did like those owls. That was, that was interesting. These guys look so badass. Necrolords. Whoa, look at that. That is awesome oh my god whoever designed that jesus that's so cool that looks like it should be out of like ice crown this kind of like stitched abomination kind of thing that's badass i like that a lot to be fair and you guys oh that looks quite nice it reminds me of rogue uh the blood blood thing a bit it's got that kind of vibe Nice mount, kind of. It's like a... I <laughs> don't know what it is, but it's cool. Still, we're going to go with Night Fae, because that's what we decided. Um, please don't automatically hand in my... Ah, uh, here we go. Gosh, I almost clicked this, because it was green. I expected Night Fae to be green, but... Uh, yeah, there we go. Ready? Yep. Yeah, boy. Night Fae. Exciting. Oh yeah, choosing my purpose. I am with a purpose now. Poipus. 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 Oh, where's my abilities? They went off my bar. Hello? Am I being a plonker again? Do I have to speak to get my abilities back? Where are my abilities? What have you done? Have I been scammed? Yeah, I've been scammed, Blizzard. Oh, Blizzard, please. I've been absolutely scammed. What's all these quests over here? Everything is negotiable. I don't know what these are, but I'm going to pick them up. Upgrade item. Okay. Um... So I've lost my ability, but I'm still a fox. This is this is strange. Um, the heart of the forest. Okay, let's go. Maybe I have to go there to get the actual ability back or something. Look at that little. They they have weird voices. I expected them to be like, you know, really Chad sounding, like really badass, but they're kind of like just I don't know what. Uh, so night phase blue. Is it? Or... Oh gosh. What's that guy? Fight path taken to Arden World. Or isn't that night fake? See, this is the problem. I, I don't... I don't know what I'm doing. Is this night fake? Arden World? Yeah. Okay. Let's go.
shot through the heart and you're to blame you gave love a bad name whoosh down the wormhole on the weird sperm seahorse thing okay wow whoa Whoa. Ah. Ooh. To be fair, the trees here are badass. The world tree ain't got nothing on these trees. These trees are much more awesome, especially that one over there. That looks amazing. What are these chests? Lunar light pod. Have no idea. Also, do I get world quests in this game? Probably world quests will still be a thing. I think there'd be a lot of anger if they got rid of them because like, although they're kind of annoying world quests, at the same time they're a huge part of the game and without world quests you'd probably run out of things to do. Can I have my abilities back, please? After the trees and the night they arose, the first mortal soul appeared in Ardenil. And who was that? Are you talking about me? Am I the first mortal soul? Ooh, look at all these. Wow. I want to be, oh, I don't know what to choose. Can I choose one to be? I think I'd want to be, is that like an off, no. Oh, they've got little ones as well. Oh my god, what's that? Yes. Oh, look at that. Look at these chonky cats. Oh. If I can choose one of these, look at him. Just look at this chonker. He is awesome. I wouldn't want to be a snake. No, no, no. Corgis. <laughs> so it would definitely be, be between chonkers or this thing. This reminds me a bit of like a... It's the closest thing to a platypus. If they could just put a beak on there and give it a, a bill... Uh, sorry, a bill and a, a one of them flat tails. I can't think of the name. Um... You know, beaver tail kind of thing. That would be perfect, thank you. Uh, what am I doing? Knelt before loom bear. Oh, okay. Kneel. Oh, I see. Kneel. The soul knelt. How may I be of service, O Queen? Tend to these spirits forevermore. The cycle must continue, or all is lost. Gosh, I hope I can unlock these as like travel forms. I want to be a chonky cat, I think. Oh my god. No, come back. Okay, so we've got soul shape back, wherever it went. Where did it go? Soul shape. There we go. Let's commune. Oh, I don't know if you want to look at my dreams. Theatre, eh? Where's the theatre? Uh, theatre. Oh, it's all the way over there. Fair enough. Uh, 
Let's go. Oh wait, that looks like it will be the theatre there. Is this the theatre? There she is. The Winter Queen. Is that Elsa from Frozen then? The Winter Queen? Wasn't she the Queen? Look at her. She's a badass. Oh look, big blue bear is here. Got like a weird... Oh, it's a serpent. I thought it was a jellyfish. Um, what is this? Am I going to have to perform, am I? In front of the Queen and Ysera. That's, uh... Um, what? Place taken on stage. Okay, here I go. Maybe I'll go in this form. It's... Uh-huh. Look, that's gold down, is it? Yeah. Um, yeah, that's me. Well, I'm going to rinse you, Lord of Nightmares. Yes, we did. Or Actually, I, I think I did that raid, like, but only once in LFR before I quit. <laughs> I, uh, I did the same thing with Legion, pretty much. I got to max level, I quit for a long time, then I came back near the end. Who's next? Goldan? Goldan did nothing wrong, to be honest. Yeah, that was a really good expansion. Yeah, you're about as confused as the majority of people were with that expansion, I think. Nobody really knew what was happening in that expansion because they were all locked in their garrisons for 99% of it. Are you Illidan? KJ. Yeah, where's where's Illidan at? With Sargaris. Wonder if they'll come back this expansion. Shut up the heart, and you're to blame. You gave love a bad name. <laughs> Don't even have to avoid stuff, really. You can just stand it. <laughs> Very clever. Oh, that's cool. She's uh, got some good theatrical abilities. And it, oh yeah, that's pretty much how it went. Oh, 
thank you, I shall. Yes. It's true, we did, you know. We did do that. Is that good? Yeah, okay. See you later. Hope they enjoyed that lovely performance. Oh no, not another one, come on. <sighs> oh. Tell dress, so this is going to be BFA, is it? And what? What's this? Azeroth. Oh my god, I get to play as Azeroth. Okay, fair, fair play. Come on. Ali up. Costume change. Get backstage. Uh, okay. What am I now? Um I don't even know what I am. What am I? Oh, I'm Sir Garrus's sword, am I? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Another? Sarah isn't enjoying it. <laughs> or actually, she wouldn't know, would she? Because she died in Legion. Oh, hello, I'm Natal. It's okay. Where is the world tree? Do I just set this on fire, do I? Yep, as expected. <laughs> I think we're gonna scar her. She's gonna like release her rage in a minute and uh, or break down and cry. Oh, I'm the horse. I love this costume. I, this is my biggest regret is not unlocking this at Halloween. I had the time, I just didn't do it, and it's like the best thing in WoW, to be, to be fair. Oh, wait, upgrade my costume. You hold still. Oh, okay. I'm like a unicorn. What is this? Oh, so this is BFA, the, the horde. Um, I don't really understand what I'm doing there. Oh, okay, got to trample them. I don't remember this. Did this happen? Oh, this is Anduin, okay, I see. Mm-hmm. Is that it? Am I done? What's this? Oh, healing Azeroth, great. Please, no. I never want to hear this sound effect ever again. This horrible Azerite sound effect. So many bad memories. A rare spawn, what? Oh. 
remember watching Gethoon uh, World First Race. That was actually really quite entertaining. That was good. Um, are you doing anything? Oh. Oh, I see. She's holding a bug. <laughs> Oh, there she is, she's up there. <laughs> Glimmer dust? Jaina didn't kill her pursuers. Oh, come on, really? Really? Jaina didn't die either. Uh, fine. I am defeated. Yay. <clears throat> Moving along. A shawl. Under the sea. Under the sea. She's wearing the little uh, eyeball thing on her head. <laughs> They've got some uh, interesting tentacle stuff going on there. off in the face. And thus, the corruptor was defeated. The champions of Azeroth have prevailed once more. Did you like it, my queen? Yeah, got a clap. An excellent performance. What do you Sarah think though? <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> That's quite cool. Ew. Yeah, that was good. I like that. What was that? Oh, you get the mount straight away. Okay, I thought that was going to be a, um, you know, something you have to work towards, but okay. What do you want, you Sarah? My long let's fly, let's fly, let's fly away. Um, I'm going to have to end the stream actually um, a bit prematurely I've got to get ready I've got um, a few few things to do um, but I shall probably be back to stream later tonight again um, like around 11, 11.30 maybe 
for an hour or two so um yeah i'll catch you all later um thanks for watching and um yeah peace out a town down do 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 do